doing great. For today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this backpack designed especially for children, preteens, but also teenagers if the straps are long enough. It is entirely made by Daisy Granny Squares, in which we're going to make back panels. So here's the front panel, the back panel, the side panels, as well as the bottom part and the cover. To make this bag, I chose these colors, but it's all up to you to choose the ones that you like. As for the brand name, it doesn't really matter as long as you make sure it's lightweight 3 yarn, also known as DK or light worsted. And this is what it looks like. You'll be needing as well a crochet hook that is quite bulky, like 4 or 5 millimeters will do the job. And a pair of scissors. First of all, I'm starting off with the middle part of the flower, which I chose to be yellow. Now I'm just gonna tie my yarn to the hook by a slip knot. So here's a quick reminder. I'm gonna chain four. So here's one, two, three, and four. Insert the hook into the first chain, yarn over and pull it through the chain as well as the attached loop. And chain 3 to represent the first double crochet. Next yarn over and make a double crochet inside this circle you see right here. And you can watch my previous videos on how to make a double crochet. Now I'm just going to make 11 double crochets. Once you have 11 double crochets, insert your hook in the third chain, yarn over and pull it through the chain and the attached loop, and make one chain. Now you're going to fasten your work off, and we're going to get rid of these hanging threads by waving them in the back side of the square. Next we gotta change the color, cause we'll be working on the petals. So insert your hook in the third chain, pull the yarn through it, just like this, and make a knot to secure it. Now pull up a loop and pull it through the chain, and chain 4 to represent the first triple crochet. Now I know the next stitches might be quite confusing, but just follow along with me. We're gonna make two triple crochets, but summed one to another. So first yarn over twice, insert your hook in the same gap, pull up a loop and pull it through, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. Now stop and yarn over twice once more, insert in the same gap, pull up a loop and pull it through, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. Now you have three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all the three remaining loops. So now we've just made the first petal. Next you're gonna make three triple crochets summed one to another in each stitch until you get 12 petals. I'll just let you follow along with me. So now I've just made my 12 petals. To close my row, I'm gonna insert my hook in the fourth chain and make a slip stitch. And next I'm gonna fasten off my work to insert the next color. 
To make the square, we're gonna make in each gap three triple crochets, but this time they are simply separated. So start with four chains to represent the first triple crochet, yarn over twice, insert your hook in the same gap, pull up a loop and pull it through, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over again and pull through two loops. And repeat the same to make the third triple crochet. Now chain two and repeat the same thing in each gap, which means you're gonna make three triple crochets in each gap. Now I've just worked in four gaps, but in order to make the corner of the square, I'm gonna chain three and make again in this fourth gap, three triple crochets. Not this gap, but rather this one. As you can see, we now have a little angle right here and you will want to make that in every fourth gap in order to have four corners. I'm almost done, I just have to crochet three triple crochets to make the fourth corner. Next chain three, insert your hook in the fourth chain and make a slip stitch and you're done. Following the same steps, you'll be needing to make a totted off 12 squares. As for the cup or the covering part of the bag, you'll start with a square that is the exact same of the other ones we've made so far, in which we're going to make larger by repeating the same pattern all around for two additional rounds. So start by making two slip stitches and the next two triple crochets. Add another slip stitch in the first gap, chain 4 to represent the first triple crochet, 3 and 4, and now you're gonna make two triple crochets inside the same gap. Now chain two and make three triple crochets in the next gap. Here we'll be needing to create a corner, so make three triple crochets. Chain three and make three triple crochets inside the same gap.
and you'll just have to repeat the same pattern all around. As you can see, it's getting larger. Now insert your hook in the fourth chain. And make a slip stitch. Now we're going to make an additional round following the same pattern. So start with slip stitches, chain 4 and make 2 triple crochets inside the same gap and repeat the same thing. And here's another way of making the cup. You can just make one triple crochet in each and every stitch, including the gaps. To make the bottom part, start with 24 chains and make one half double crochet in each and every stitch until you make 11 rows. First chain one, we're gonna work in this chain yarn over, insert the hook into the chain, pull up a loop and pull it through, yarn over and pull through all the remaining loops. And do the same until the end. Once you're done with the 11 rows, you can make sure the bottom part measures 10 centimeters in height. For these wraps, I've made a lot of videos on how to make them. I'll leave the link in the description box down below. But you'll just need to start with 5 chains and make one half double crochet back loops only in each stitch until the strap measures approximately 20 centimeters. After sewing the squares together, I'm gonna make one single crochet in each stitch all around for 6 rounds. 